Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a tour of my store and I'm doing this because I've had several viewers ask and uh, I'm finally getting around to it. So uh, we start out here by coming in the front door and this is what you see when you first walk in and my husband built this uh, because we had this big open building when we bought the place and um, and it needed uh, some sections so that I could make good use of the space. So we just happened to have all these old windows and it worked out perfectly because I can still see the front door from the checkout counter. So. Um, I, I didn't think that this was possible, and it was his idea, and I thought it was a great one. So he built this little th this little she shack out of um, out of just materials we already had on hand, and uh, I thought it, thought it turned out really neat. But inside this little she shack, and that's what we call it, um, I decorate more shabby chic. Uh, so in my store, we I have a lot of farmhouse uh, decor, but in this in this she shack is mostly cottage core and and shabby chic. Now I do mix a little bit of this outside of the she shack, but but you'll see most of my shabby chic items inside this little area. And here's the other side. Uh, I do go back in this area right here and add um, that little shelf that I made uh, from Mom's chair, and I'll show that later. Uh, but right now, this is what this was like. And then when I built that, that shelf from her chair, I just uh, changed that little corner up a little bit. And I try to keep my areas with uh, certain colors going on and I try to fill them up as much as possible so that I can make the most use of my space. And sometimes when, when I sell well and I haven't had time to do a lot of crafting, I get a little behind and it's, it's not as full as I would like it. And there's some areas in the store, in this store, that are not um, as full as I would like them to be. But uh, we just do the best we can and sell what we have on hand. So, uh, and as you come through this little she shack, you go straight to the checkout counter. And if I haven't mentioned before, my husband has a, a landscape materials yard outside. That's what the primary business is here. And uh, so the guys come in here to pay and uh the ones that aren't regular get a little confused when they walk inside because they don't expect this but the great thing about that is uh, they tell their wives and bring them back so it, it's pretty good it works out pretty well for us and then when their wife is with them it gives them something to do while their husband's out loading uh, and then here is an area right outside uh, the she shack and i'm just uh, I'm just remembering that I did forget to do the other side of this she shack outside, but I'll I'll do another one later and get some of the areas that I missed, um, and I'll also uh, get some get some footage of outside. But right now I wanted to get uh, get one going because I'd had so many people ask and. Um, I hate to keep putting it off and this is the little garden area and I, I normally have more flags out than that but uh, I need to get some of those out I have a lot in storage and I just hadn't gotten around to filling that area up but mostly what this little area is is just items that maybe you would have uh, in the garden or on your porch or you know I'll I'll mix a piece of furniture here and there in with it just mainly to have more area to display my items but um, for the most part this is this is more garden related items and then I have a couple of uh, storefront windows displays that my husband had built uh, mainly because it's kind of hard to tell from the outside what's going on inside so he built two little areas that I can decorate and um, 
and that shows from outside and that's really helped us a lot uh, get a lot of people to stop and then in the corner here I have a big tree because I wanted something to display all the birdhouses uh, was the main reason that we brought this tree in but uh, we my sister had gotten some trees cut from her property and uh, my husband was brave enough to bring one of them inside and obviously this was before we did all the build out in here this was when it was one big open room otherwise we wouldn't have been able to get it in and if we ever decide we want rid of it uh, we won't be able to get rid of it without cutting it up and taking it out piece by piece but it's worked out really well just to have some areas to hang birdhouses from Guys, I want to say thank you so much for all your support. Um, I'm, I just noticed today that I'm, I'm getting ready to, uh, to have 1,100 subscribers, and I never, ever dreamed that I would have that many, and I'm just so thankful for all the support that you guys have given me. Uh, and so here is the rest of this little area and uh, we just kind of separated it with a little picket fence area and uh, I think I show here in a little bit the entrance to this area a little bit better uh, but you can see there that it divides uh, the next area off with a picket fence or a picket fence divides it rather and then I'd store some of the flowers that we sell uh, I have some flowers in my work area, which I don't show in this video, uh, but um, I use those for crafting, but these here are all for sale. And then we go into the, um, the area with my candles, and uh, I have hand-poured soy candles, and, and then my Dixie Belle products. And... Um, this used to be what we call the shed and the shed had um, all sorts of just antiques more rustic antiques uh, we kind of build it mainly for the men because they like to come in there and he would have old fishing lures and things like that uh, but he just got too busy to keep this area up and he just wasn't buying and i don't know how to buy for him so uh, it just kind of got to where it was needing more and he just finally decided to just give it up and give it to me and so that's when we decided to put these products here and then this is the other side of the um of my paint area and this is just a couple of doors that he hinged together to kind of make that end of the of the shed to close that off and it, it gives me a lot of good display area i used to sell a lot of ray dunn and i don't anymore that's just kind of pieces i had left over so i'll just use it for other things but that used to be my ray dunn area and then here is an old mantle that we found and it was just bright white and so i told my husband that i needed it stripped down to the wood and he tried uh, and that's what he got he just gave up at that point and i was so happy with where he got it um and then this is my little area where i sell honey and i did a, a video not long ago where i added some pieces to this and these are just some little rocks that i decoupaged and stamped on and uh, some little sacks there uh, but I, I, I just keep this little area with bee-related items. And um, it's an area just as you come in the front door. And uh, I used to sell jams and things like that. I don't sell those anymore. Uh, but I do sell honey. And I have some uh, soaps that I sell. But this little cabinet, when we bought the property... Uh, this little cabinet was uh, in an area that they were going to throw it out. And, oh, I was so happy with this cabinet. It looked like it was kind of um, ready for the trash. But I was able to clean it up and with very little work, make it work really 
really perfectly, I think, for this little area. And uh, I could have sold it uh, over and over again, but it it's going to stay right where it is because I can't imagine uh, another piece working better for this area. And I thought when we first started selling honey that it would be a slow sell, but it would just be something to offer. But uh, I was wrong about that. It, we can't hardly keep honey. It, it's such a quick sell because more and more people are, are learning the benefits of it. And this is what we call the, uh, the farm kitchen area uh, because it's, it's mostly kitchen related items uh, that you would find in a farmhouse and so um, we just kind of some of those items a lot of my enamel is just new I buy it at a wholesale place and it used to sell really really good and I, I still sell it but it's it doesn't sell nearly as quickly as it as it used to so I've got a lot of pieces that I've just kind of got back and and I'll have overstock for some time. But I, I still do sell quite a bit of it, I guess, but not nearly like it used to be. Uh, but so here is the other front area. And, um, and we just kind of, I don't, the only kinds of old glassware that I collect or that I sell rather is just farmhouse related. I don't like anything that's more decorative. And here's the other front window that I decorate. And so he built those doors there to open up uh, into it. And I promised a few people that I would show mom's little shelf there when I got it decorated. And there it is on the wall. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.